Well, hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And this time we have this image of William. And I'm going to be playing as the battle language guy because this image has a lot to do with William's character. All the clues are there. Can you spot them? Let's find out. Let's get down to it. This image was first brought to my attention by Canel Citadel on Twitter. She was talking about negotiation. And negotiation, you know, with whom? In order to negotiate, one has to have leverage. Demanding reconciliation from someone who doesn't care to even talk to you is pointless. Paint William as the villain all day. What he couldn't tolerate after OP, he won't tolerate after spare, and there's nothing H can do about it. Yeah, it's uh, the expression of William that caught me attention. I couldn't tell why at the moment, but luckily I found, I can tell that I found the highest resolution picture that, well, I can find uh, anywhere on the internet. But let's take a look at his battle language at first, at his general battle language. He's got his... Uh, I thought he had his fingers crossed at first, but they are not crossed. It's like the left hand is mainly copying the right hand. It's like the left hand is protecting the right, but the two fingers, his two fingers, his two index fingers are crossed. It's like a combination, and at the same time, the thumb, the left thumb, is protecting or covering the right thumb. So we know that the left side of our body and the left side of our face has more to do with emotions, and the right side has more to do with our rational mind. That is important for this kind of distinctions. This is how we know that William's emotions was, were getting the best of him at that moment. And you might be asking, when was this photo taken? I know that I usually add, tell you to ask the question, who is behind the camera? In this case, who is behind the camera is not that important. Which is important is to know when was this photo taken. And this was the first royal engagement after the queen had diet. So you cannot, you cannot help but imagine that he was very sensitive at that moment and his emotions were getting the best of him. You can also notice that he has this strong tilt of the head to his left side, to, her, to his emotional side, that, that tilt of the head. And his left shoulder, that you can see right here is also is barely visible, but there it is. Is uh, tense. It it it's like this. He wanted a bit of uh, protection for himself. It's obvious that he had this uh, emotional struggle, this internal emotional struggle at that moment with so many things happening, and we weren't counting with uh, spare or the Netflix horror mentory yet to add into the equation. But I think the most relevant part is to take a look into his eyes. And something interesting about all those wrinkles and all those lines and all the way that our muscles around our eyes work is that they begin not only to tone and condition and sculpt our perpetual expression or our usual expression. Our body language baseline in many ways portrays what is our general state of mind and by extension over a period of time, our character, it changes, it can change. We can read a person's face, uh, their expression, how they talk with their faces in such a way that reading in this case is the internal struggle between his emotions and his more pragmatic side. How can we tell that there is a struggle? Um, not a contradiction, but a struggle between his emotional and rational side. We see that his left eye is expressing one emotion, maybe concern or a bit of pain. The way his eyebrow is contracted is very different to his right eyebrow. You see that? is lowering the inner part of his eyebrow, okay, and that is pressing over the eye, which is tense as well. 
you can you can also do it by covering one side or another with your hand it also helps at the same time we can see that the right side of his face the more rational the more pragmatic it looks like it's uh, a bit worried perhaps i would not be surprised at that right eye expression connected to his rational left side of the brain means that he feels a bit powerless about all this situation he must really miss his grandmother and that is part of the struggle that he's feeling at that moment maybe he is recalling all the moments that he met with her that all those reunions all those meetings when they sat down and she told him everything that was ahead of his life all the duties all the responsibilities all the philosophy of uh, the duties that he's going to be facing for the rest of his life it's something that can be overwhelming and i think this uh, is a great display of that emotions that william tries to conceal so many times you know that he's a very tense man he always has this uh tension in his jaw trying to be be a bit more relaxed but he cannot help that he's a bit tense he tries to he tries to let himself go at times like in this other picture when he's trying to well he's uh, giving his hand he's going to shake his hand the hand is a rather neutral state it's not uh, dominant with the palm down or open with the palm up it's rather neutral but the most important part is the wrist the wrist is relaxed he's trying to be relaxed at that moment very different from this moment are, are two completely different pictures different instances of the same engagement and of course catherine also tries to be well also she also is uh beaming with that a smile with that attitude but still you can see that there's the same slight difference between her left eye and her right eye in this case her right eye's expression is more intense than the left eye i think she was also touched by the moment i think she also had this struggle at the moment because the more emotional part of her face uh, was uh, maybe dealing with that inner struggle was not quite at that moment at least in this image in this exact picture that's why uh we are seeing this uh, posture this uh, gesture of william with his hand over his belly i think that we have seen in harry all the time uh, playing with the button of his jacket or putting the hand below the flap of his jacket or putting the hand over his belly but at the same time you see that William's body is a bit tense. He has his head back like he wants to engage in the sense that he has a nice smile at that moment. Uh, he has his head tilted to his right in a, in a nice angle. He's listening to the man or the woman who is talking at that moment. But you cannot help but notice that he was tense. That is that is um I think that is another projection of that struggle that we were mentioning in the original picture but what about catherine too in some of, of the moments i think this was uh, much more of a thinking or reflecting i think this was more representative of being reflective even if she's uh, listening to someone uh she's got a, just a slight tilt of her head there is no way that we can tell but maybe she was looking at William in this image and by the way i also found a very high resolution of this picture and boy can can anybody in the room read those irises you know that we can read so much on the the, the iris of our eyes it will be interesting to uh, read hers i'm not that uh, that seasoned onto that but that's why but could me but that's what caught my attention from this picture and why i found it so interesting it's a snapshot of william's character and the struggle that uh, well he had he had seen coming uh he knew that the queen was not going to be with him forever but uh, engaging in royal duties for the first time 
after her passing should not have been easy for him at all. I would love to know what do you think about this in the comments. My Royal Rogues, my name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And until we meet in another video or another live, much love and bliss.